Hello and welcome to another Touring Dev Talks. This is Jose, your host for the day. And I'm sitting in from Montreal, Canada. And for our discussion today, I'd like to welcome Ezekiel. Ezekiel Rodriguez is a full stack developer with more than six years of experience and has worked in various frameworks and libraries such as Angular, React.js, MongoDB, uh, SQL database, and etc. And a part of that, he also has worked with Golang, and that is what we are going to be talking today. And I'm so excited to talk about the newly release of Golang. Okay, and without further ado, let's get started. So, first of all, how are you doing, and how is your day doing so far, Ezekiel? Thank you, Jose, for this great presentation. I've been doing pretty well. My world. I, my work at, at Turing has been amazing. Doing and creating new things using amazing technologies such as Golan, Python, and others. Nice. So let's now dive deep into our discussion of the day. Okay, Ezekiel, could you please tell us um, what is about Golang? What's Golang used it for? Well, Golang is a great technology I have been using so far, creating a missing application, primarily as a backend ten, uh, engineer with, uh, with that technology. Golang is an open source program language used for general purpose, and Golang was developed by Golang uh, by Google Develop uh, engineers to create dependence and efficient and so forth. Great, and this will be an interesting conversation to learn a little bit more about what is coming, right? So, uh, very recently, Golang released a new update, right? It was uh, their previous big update just five months ago. And what are the major differences between these two rollouts? Go 1.18 was a big release with huge, with huge feature like generics, boosting, and wall space. There was a pleading or examining around his minus and ultra minus feature. But now, in the last release with Golang uh, 1.19, it knows a release of that escape, but it does a packing, a, it does packing in a lot of smart improvement that can help the average Go developer to improve the code. Nice. So it sounds like an uh, incremental update more than anything else, right? All right, so uh, Ezekiel, one of the features uh, of this new update seems to be a soft memory limit, right? Uh, which has been in demand so earlier as 2016. Could you walk us through a little bit about that? To use Go in, uh, in devices like phones and tables, with a lot of RAM, a bug, a hard seal. He essentially set the target and trigger uh, incrementally aggressive garbage collection within the CPU limit as the amount of the memory used to get closer to the target. Got you. So it means we can use, we can set up the memory limit from a uh, invited variable. Is that correct? Yep. All right, so also there are some changes to Go Memories module as well, right? And we have the first use of generic in the library, right? Not something new, but uh, more a convenient way to use that. And could you please uh, elaborate a little bit about uh, this for us? Well, sure. As you said, there is, it's not something new. There is something that is most convenient to use right now. But the memory go, the memory model, which defines the way go ensure variables create in one go in, in one go routine, and inquire and inquires the to reflect values grading in the variables to a different go routine has been revised and introduced a new definition of the what happened uh, happened before relation, which brings the semantic closer to the other main language, including C, C++, Java, Rock, and others. Go say that this change doesn't impact to the system program that already exists. It should not close all uh, most of the developers. In addition to that, a couple of new atomic type has been added to the same atomic package. Include specifying the specific the, the atomic in sixty four and atomic pointer T, mostly simplify uh, which mostly to simplify the use. 
Gotcha. And apart of garbage collection and generic links, right? Uh, there is also an update with the documentation as well. And what are the changes in that documentation and how does it make the life of the developers easier? In the latest release, they expand this part greatly by adding this new function, the FNT appen, the FNT FNP, FNF, and FNT appen, appen in. This function, this function were like the FNT premium. They open to the biggest slide, which allow for very precise control of the memory location. Got you. And now Ezekiel, we talk about these new features of the update, right? But I think our discussion will be incomplete without discussion um, about your experience with work with these new updates in the libraries of Golang, right? So what has improved and what it is still lacking in your understanding? Sure, this has been a great update and allow us to implement great improvement in the memories managed and reducing the code duplication and with the generic implement with the generic implementation. We could expect more improvement in the next release for to help the, the developer to simplify the way we can approach the generic and the function defining on, on ties. Interesting, and I'm sure it will give our developers a good idea of what to expect from this update. And before I move to my next question, I would like to call upon our developers, as senior developers out there who are willing to work remotely for US companies. Okay, we have jobs in 100 plus technology, including React, React Native, Python, Java, C Sharp, and Golang. And if you are confident about your skill sets, Head on turing.com slash jobs and apply for the job that are suitable for your tech stack, right? Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video and comment down below uh, what do you think about Golang. What's your experience uh, about Golang, okay? So Ezekiel, this has been a great discussion so far, okay? And I, I think it's time to bring our talk to a close. But before I let you go, could you please share with our developers some uh, resource of learning and a few tips, how can they prepare for their future uh, Golang interview? For oh, sure. I always will recommend the developer to go to the main uh, page for, for Golang. Go to the main uh, the Golang page uh, and see the latest release that they have, the documentation that they have for the libraries they really, they, that they release and they have in the language. Also, <clears throat> I will recommend to start testing the new functionality that they release. For example, that the latest one that they release for the generic. And also, I will recommend to get a good base knowledge uh, how to use uh, the go routines work being unique in integration tests. And that should be great enough to work with it. That was really beautiful. Thanks a lot, Ezekiel, for sharing such valuable advice. Okay, I hope our audience enjoyed this discussion as much as I did. And I hope to see you again in the future, okay? Yeah. As that said, that's a wrap from our side. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any queries, please feel free to send us an email at support at turing.com. Let us know in the comments below uh, what you do like to learn in the following videos. Give us the big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed already. Uh, if you don't have an account at Turing, I'll put the link in the description below. Turing.com, you can click there, create your account. It's easy, it's fast, and it's free. We'll be back very soon with many other Turing stories like this. Till then, it's still safe, and don't forget to apply for the job of your dreams. Until then, have a great one, and I hope to see you again in the next time.